The European Cricket League is proudly brought to you by Dream 11, HCL Software, La Junta de Andalucía, Paramatch and Norcane. And the official charity partner, Share the Meal by the United Nations World Food Programme. Here we go, a battle between bat versus ball. And this could be out, you know, it will be out. He plays this one that's going down the leg side, gets a little bit of bat onto it, and that is a huge wicket. Yes, it is, because the in form, Francis Warre, who scored 48 or 22, well, he goes after this one on the leg side. It's going to be a royal duck to start. This time it gets played away, that's going to be four runs. And he's a little bit leg side ish, and it will get played away. All right, in the air. Now, this has to be a chance. Oh, it's a tough one. Over the shoulder, dropped. Yeah, what a difference. A little bit of time can make Wallace, who's caught very, very well. Gets it back. It should be gone. And this one's been dropped. Oh. oh, Hoagie had most of it, went up and almost got another bite at the cherry. But two balls and two drop catches. That's how recording started earlier on today. He gets super lucky. This is lifted up, though, and out of the ground. Good shot by DeConk, living on borrowed time. He puts that one into the jungle. Maximo, the first one of this Group E final. Now, false shot. It is it, it is, but it's going to be runs, it's going to be four runs. Uncharacteristic of these two batters. This one, not so much though, because he's going to smash it into the fan zone. Maximo, time to take cover as recorded, goes large. Starts with a cutter and it's hit, it's hit really well by DeCock, who stands tall and pierces the gap, four runs. To bring them the flag. Right now, he plays a beautiful looking shot, smart shot really, because there's no deep cover. Just gets down on that back knee and he strokes it away for four. Just bowled him and the cutter does the job. Recorded's out a lot. And King's fired up, gets it right on target and Yorks the big lefty. And VOC loses the second wicket on the stroke of the fifth over. It's 49 for two. Anyway, this is up, it's in the air and it's out of here. It's a pretty good shot from Decock. Come back ball for Lewis. Nice one, he gets it wrong, and it's strong from the batter. Now, this will be another six for Schoenheim. Lifts it up and over the leg side, Maximo. Goes to the cutter, he picks it, and he smacks it out of the ground, Maximo. So King pays the price for the knuckle up, slipping out the wrong way. And that one will go over the ropes for six. As we see the first ball of the eighth disappear, they go back to Robertson. And that one's gone miles. Maximo. The cop moves to 47. Be struggling a bit to pick him. I think they'll be swinging more than sticking around. First ball's hit down the ground. And the cop will bring up his 50 with that stroke. 32 balls. So he's been a workhorse. And you can see he's more interested, I think, in the next 11 balls and, and celebrating too much at this stage. But still well batted. Yeah, well, by, by skip indeed. well batted indeed. Okay, high. Now, Garden's going to have to get there. He's going to go a long way, and he can't quite go. Didn't want to get off his feet in the end. I think a full dive, he may have just reached it. It was so high, they'll get two. This hasn't been an easy innings, and this one surprises him, and he's going to be gone. So, great catch by Cameron. Second time we've seen him take a court and bowl today. It gets big on Tim DeCock. It's right up towards the handle of the bat. It just loops up. Cameron does the rest, and finally, Tim DeCock is dismissed with three balls to go. It's 103 for three. He misses. And now Jamil is going to, well, could go for a run out here. Oh, all right, double or nothing. Here we go. This time out. Even... This time out. No, hold on. You got it. You can't change now. I'm taking out this no. time. What do you mean I can't change? It's a different different situation. No, one, no the rules are <laughs> of, of commentary and banana vets. <laughs> you got to give me a chance to win back. I do think you'd rather have Schoenheim on strike. I love it's like a race to save your average. And here we go. Going, and yeah. Going. Gone. So let's just say it's Rico one, Mr. Maximo one. No, no, after no. That. I don't like these rules. I'll wind the tape back. Until you <laughs> last ball. 
And he goes for the shot. Is he going to go? To yes. Oh, look. This is what I'm thinking about. So he's called six. It's the slower delivery. Doesn't go right. They're going to get to 111. It's going to be the Nelson on the Group E final. I said 110 would be a real test. Would be a real battle between these two sides. It will be a bit of a tug of war. And I reckon we're going to get a tug of war here, Vinny. Here we go, here's the first ball. Big swing and a miss, Wallace. Off a globe this morning. Here he is in the second. And he gets hit back over his head. Probably not quite out of the screws, but it'll be for Garden. Very quick to get on the front foot there to try and maybe counteract that movement. We know also that Jake does like to pitch the ball up to see what it'll do. A nice shot by Callum. Bit of a corner here. And he's bowled. Now, I don't know if Jane saw it because he fell over, but he heard the rattle and Wallace goes for just a single. Big wicket here. This game very, very much alive. Forfisher lose Craig Wallace for one and it's eight for one. Chasing 150s on that occasion. She got reasonably close. This one bites back and it's a little under edge and it's going to run away for four. So that's a bit of luck for Cameron. Good hurdle job. Oh, that's, a, that's a huge moment. That's a oh. seven up and it's got miles into the night. Maximo Siete Carreras. See that again. There's the cutter and he hits it. And he hits it out of the ground. Maximo. It kind of does. And actually, with the pace of Jane, that's going for four. Goes after it and he gets just enough guard and Maximo. Oh, well bold. That's going to be four. And yeah, the little bits of luck, but just might, might be the difference in the end. I think Hosenbach gets it right. Hey! Route first one up in the air. Catching opportunity, yeah. and it's taken. And Peter Record has been catching well today and in this entire series. Cameron holds out. Rummy gets a wicket first ball, and it's 58 for two. Goes after this and he bombs it. Maximo! Brave shot, good shot, Garden into the 30s. It is a good shot, you know. I didn't quite think it was there for that shot. Garden, is he deciding to unleash here? Full toss and that's going to travel as well. Six. Maximo! Jai with the right of reply. And this could be six more and it is six more. Un, dos, tres, Maximo! This Garden. Finds his hitting boots at the right time with Pajaya under the pump as this one could go magical in the seventh. Oh, he gets a Gundy one. Well, we're going to have a look at the height on this. Well, there's no doubt about it going for six. Is this too high? I get the feeling it might be too high. This could be a seven up. It's not the tallest, Callum Garden. And he's going to put this one out of the ground as well. So it's 13 off that ball. And it puts Forfshire well ahead now. 18 required of 14. Now the slow ball, he picks it, he hits it out of the ground. Maximo! Timing, timing, timing. This is timing to perfection. Look at them. They're starting to believe. Need a needs a dot here. Would love a wicket. Needs a wicket, needs a dot, but he ain't going to get one. This is, looks like it could go all the way as well. It will go all the way. Bolle, bolle, bolle. Shaka Lagia, they are just four runs away from victory and they've got nine balls, Vinny, to do it in. Wow, 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 wow. Robertson steps up at the right time. Four to win for the Scots. Edged and dropped by the keeper. Dropped by the keeper up into his right leery. It did fly. Goes for it. Well, this should be out. It is out. It is out. Okay. okay, well, Garden doesn't necessarily pick that slow ball or if he does he doesn't get much of it they are taking nothing for granted for you right now I'll tell you that much so really down to working on fumes now three off eight required the score is 109 for three a single keeps the game alive anyway two to win and it's in the air well you got to catch it if you don't catch it as curtains and he does catch it tim de Kock, fantastic under the spotlight and Oh, just a, a small glimmer of hope. Knight goes for glory, but comes up short. It's 110 for four. Yeah, well, this is what I thought the young man might do. Well, that's maybe a little bit of the young blood 
He's uh, decides, I can, they're all in, I can go for the big shot. He's disappointed, it's a slow walk back for him. Uh, this match is not done yet, folks. It is not done yet. Two required of five deliveries. Two to win for the Scots. Still it's two to win. Shot. Oh, we can't believe what yeah, we're seeing yeah, here. These ones don't just make themselves, Rico. It's been a great over from Upajaya. Tim Ducott kept the game alive by taking that pressure catch. Two to win for four, Fisher. And that'll do it. The Scots, one year to the day. They conquer their demons. And they are your Group E champions with a sense of theatre as well. Hogarth gets them across the line. And it's VOC running arm that have to go down in second place because Forfisher have won with just a single delivery to spare. Ladies and gentlemen, cricket lovers around the world, what a match you've just been treated to. The Group E final has been won by Forfisher.